climate scientists at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, outside Washington, say the Arctic could be entirely ice-free in late summer 2013. The sea ice is decreasing faster than all the models predicted. Jay Swally is the ice satellite project scientist at NASA Goddard. We not only have the warming of the atmosphere, we have a warming of the ocean that's affecting this. It's been surprising to everybody, this decrease in the area, the marked departure. And this is what is suggesting to us that maybe we're getting at the tipping point. He this explains the concept uh, this way. Uh, if you push something like a glass over to a certain point <clears throat> and then leave go, it'll, it'll come back. But if you push it too far past the tipping point, then it's gone. Now, what is happening in the Arctic Ocean, the sea ice, is getting thinner, it's decreasing in area. This opens up the ocean to more heating from the sun. So it's very likely that the Arctic sea ice is now at this tipping point, where even if the climate doesn't warm anymore, stays as it is now, most of the sea ice will decrease and disappear at the end of the summer. Mark Ceres is a senior researcher at the U.S. National Snow and Ice Data Center in Colorado. Get up through 2006, in September, We've been losing ice at the rate of a little more than 9% per decade. That's equivalent to about 100,000 square kilometers per year, which is quite a bit. But what's happened in 2007 has just set an exclamation point in this. This satellite image from NASA shows the average sea ice in the Arctic over the last 30 years. The greenish area indicates the melt at the end of last summer. The key thing is that this ice that is remaining is now thinner. There used to be a lot of ice over here that was three, four, five, six meters thick. Mm -hmm. and most of that is gone. All climate models have variability and the possibility that melting trends may lead to results less severe than predicted. This is an example, a specific example of the sea ice in the Arctic where what is happening, what we see with satellites, is actually worse than the models had predicted. Andy adds, those models are supported by ground-based observations and measurements. Paul Cisco, VOA News.